And we're going to travel up this track. Looks a bit uh, challenging for the old Honda down here, but we'll have a go. And up around the corner, we'll end up at uh, Honey Hill. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be in my BMW or not, though. I suspect it could be um, expensive. As are BMWs generally. And just in those clump of trees is the entrance to Honey Hill Farm. What a lovely name for a farm. I don't think you should think about taking this, your car on this track, it's too rough. And it may not be so bad coming down from the Craigner Bar, but it's only going up, it is challenging, to say the least. So here's Honey Hill Farm. It's a grandiose spot, definitely. It's built originally by the Elder family. But in the meantime, we're going to have an exploration ourselves. I uh, won't by the government, of course, like all these places. And the uh, tram horses are up here for retirement. You're used to people, aren't you, man? <laughs> Somebody's on a mission anyway. Aren't you fella? You come up to see if I got some food too, haven't you? You have indeed. Come with me now while we have a mosey around. These sycamores make a great entrance to the farm, don't they? As I said, it was probably Abandoned in the 1930s. It's one of these places. Foxglove's starting to come on. This will be their turn to flower. It's an old gate post. Made of slate. And the old hinge is still there. I'm going to walk down and around the place first, see what we can find outside. I think this would have been part of the garden at one time. This famous honey hill for, uh, obviously honey it must be, something to do with the hill behind me. There's a certain taste in the honey. And also for its monkey puzzle trees. But unfortunately, they seem to have died since the last time I was here. It just proves the point, you know, you really do need to record these things when you think about it. Don't think about it till afterwards. It's too late then. So this is another part of the garden. See the thorn trees around the outside of it. Must be an ash tree somewhere here too for a bit of keeping the baddies away as they say. And there's the sad fate of the monkey puzzle trees. Looks like the uh, ground couldn't support them. That's quite sad. I'm glad I took some pictures here the last time I was here of them. Well, I was told by uh, some farmers when I was a few weeks ago when we were here for a visit that a lot of farms had these trees planted. That's because of certain seed sales we used to come to Alaman and um, they were offered as an incentive or whatever you want to call it. So there's a few of these on the north still. But none left here I'm afraid. Although this one looks like it's semi-growing, even in the horizontal position. So there's a bit of the yard. No roofs left of course. So let's go and have a look around and see what we can find. It's a very grand design and build, not a Manx style at all, you've got the traditional stone built. It's obviously much modern than um, some of the older farm buildings. Brick lintels and brick around the doorways. Very fancy. And this double opened would be a carchet I think. It generally had a bigger opening than the others anyway.
Can you have it clinging to the walls? All been mended. It was supposed to be a big bakery in the state. It's to supply the um, bakers down Onken with bread and stuff. And uh, there is a huge oven in here somewhere. We'll find that in a minute. And perhaps this was a grain store. And there's the old ivy clinging to the wall there. It'll take up everything eventually, I think. So that's number one barn. And there's number two barn. I've seen anything with stalls in yet though. Similar to the other one really. The sycamore's taken over. Two done, number three. It's much bigger than this. This may have been where they took the grain. See, so tipped something in. Because the ground outside is higher than inside. And there's the chute here. And there's all furnace. Number four. Some again, same type of room or same type of building. And uh, no chimney, so I don't think this would have been a house, although it looked like it from outside. Cart sheds. It's probably a posh farm. Two carts. of one sort or another. There's a shed here, a barn, and a big water pipe. My goodness, it looks ancient. You get in the frame, Penny? This corner went to last, we'll have a look down here, this one. Definitely a window on the world. There's been stalls of some sort in here, or a shelf of some sort. Maybe this was the dairy. House is next door. And the last but not least, you know, this guy came from Manchester, wealthy man. And in the corner there, where Penny is uh, sniffing, was the oven. It's much bigger than an average oven you'd have for a house. So perhaps it was just a bakery and not a house. Maybe they lived somewhere else. If we speak to Mr. Alder, we'll get the answers, won't we? Was this bucket last used to haul milk from the dairy to the house and was used to cart grain, who would know? But I bet that's been here since the day this place was last used. Yeah, the uh, fire would be lit down there I guess. And the bread would be put in there. Whoever built it did a really good job of it anyway. It's supposed to be also one of the first places that was built with reinforced lintels. Still reinforcement. This obviously looks like it would be one of the originals. 
but they all need air bricks. If you're building on a budget you wouldn't be wasting money on things like this. Have a hole in a bit of mesh I guess. So obviously a well to do family, the elders in their days. It's the first day I've really felt the wind was actually quite warm today. You probably don't think that's very interesting that uh, gateway going in. But it did show money was not a problem because there's a circular wall built here with a style and two big pillars, one each side, welcome you into the place. So I definitely had money spent in one day, definitely. Ferns make a really good green, don't they? I love that shade. I'd say probably my green is my favourite colour. 